Hello everyone and welcome to Aglesim School. Today I am Rohit going to discuss exercise 1.3 question number 5 in this video. So keep watching the video till the end. So starting with the very first question that is question number 5 in this video. The question number 5 is find the product using suitable properties. So the value for the part A is 26 multiply minus 48 plus minus 48 multiply minus 36. So in that case there is 48 in minus are similar. So we have to use is distributive properties. So in that case we have to do A into B and A into C. So starting with the solving problem that is minus 48 is common that is A. So we have to multiply minus 48 by 26 and 36. So first we have to solve this bracket. So after solving the bracket, we get 26 minus 36 that is minus 10. Now minus 48 multiply minus 10 that is 480 n positive because minus minus gives you positive. So this was the value for question number 5 part A. Now moving to the next part that is part B, the values for the same are 8 multiply by 53 multiply minus 125. So in this we have to use as cumulative property and this property we have to do is A multiply by B bracket multiply by C. So we can or we can say is A multiply B into C. So in that case we have to solve this problem like that 53 multiply 8 into minus 125. So after solving the bracket first we will get minus 1000 and then we have to do is we have to multiply minus 1000 with 53. So after multiplying 53 into minus 1000 we will get this minus 53000. So this was the product for part B. Now coming to the next part that is part C. So going to the next part that is part C, the values for the part C from the same question exercise is 1.3. The values are 15 multiply by minus 25 multiply by minus 4 multiply minus 10. So in this we have to use this cumulative property. So after doing this we have to do is we take 15 outside then multiply bracket minus 25 multiply minus 4 multiply minus 10 bracket close. Now we have to solve the bracket first that is minus 25 multiply by minus 4. So we will get 100 because minus minus is plus. So going with the next step that is multiply by minus 10. So 100 multiply by minus 10 we will get minus 1000. So now we have to do is we have to multiply this 1000 with 15. So we will get minus 15000. So this was the solution for part C. Now coming to the next part that is part D. So the values for part D are minus 41 multiply 102. So in that case if we have to use the property so we have to split this 102 in 100 plus 2. So now we can use the property easily like A into B plus A into C. So we take minus 41 outside multiply by 100 plus 2. So firstly we have to do is minus 41 multiply by 100 that is minus 4100. Now minus 41 into 2 that is minus 82. So after doing this we have to solve this that is minus 4100 minus 82. So we will get 4182. So this was the product of this part. So this was the solution for part C and D. Now coming to the next part that is part E. So coming to part E the values for part E are 625 multiply minus 35 plus minus 625 multiply 65. So in this we have to use this distributive property. So we will take 625 common. Now we have to do is 625 multiply minus 35 plus minus 65. So now first we have to solve this minus 35 plus minus 65 that will get minus 100 because minus minus makes minus. So 625 multiply by minus 100 will give you minus 62,500. So this was a product 
for part E. Now coming to the next part that is part F. So the values for part F are 7 multiplied by 50 minus 2. So we have to solve this by using the same property that is distributive property. So after using this property we have to do is 7 multiply 50 because A into B into C. So 7 multiply by 50 minus 7 multiply by 2. So after solving this and this we get 7 multiply 2 that is 14, 7 multiply 50 that is 350. So now we have to do is 350 minus 14 after solving this we get 336. So this will be the product for the same part and this will be the product for 62,500 for part E. Now coming to the next parts that are G and H. So the values for part G are minus 17 multiply minus 29. So now we have to do is we have to split minus 29 to use distributive property. So now we get minus 30 plus 1. So minus 17 multiply minus 30 plus minus 17 multiply by 1 because a into b and a into c. So after solving this we get 510 because 17 multiply minus 30 that is 510 and we will get this value in positive because minus minus makes plus. So coming to the next part that is minus 17 multiply by 1 we get minus 17. So now we have to add this equation after adding this equation we get 493. So this was the product for the same part that is part G. Now coming to the next part that is part H. So the values for part H are minus 57 multiply minus 19 plus 57. So for this we have to use this distributive property. So we have to split the values. So now minus 57 multiply minus 19. Now again minus 57 multiply by 1. So now going to the next equation that is 57 multiply by this part B and C that are 19 plus 1. So after solving this bracket we get the value that is 20. So now we have to do is we have to multiply 57 into 20. After doing this we get the product that is 1140. So this was the answer for part H. Thank you so much for watching our video Aglesim School. For more videos of NCRT, subscribe our channel Aglesim School and keep watching it. Till then, bye bye, take care.